Hi, I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to teach you how to make pickled beets. So, as you see, I have my beets all washed. I got a 25 pound bag of beets from my local farmer's market. Shout out to Rosie's. Um, and I washed them all. I have two pots of water boiling, and we're ready to go ahead and put our beets in. Now, what I did, I did try to separate them a little bit with a small, medium, and large. I'll try to put my large in the big pot, and then um, the smaller ones in a separate. We're going to want to be able to take the skins off, but we're also going to want them a little soft, uh, but not super soft. So we're going to have to be careful putting them in. Try not to do it like I did the first time. And remember, you always want to wear your sneakers when working with boiling water jeans and sneakers to prevent any uh, burns on your feet and legs. So I'm just, I turned it down while I'm putting them in. And I'm just going to fill the pot all the way. And this is just a regular stock pot uh, for soups or anything like that. And I think that's as many as I can fit in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the heat back up and cover it. And then I'll put the rest in here, if I can fit, we'll see. Now my recipe says uh, cook the beets for a half hour, but I think that's not going to be long enough. We'll check it in a half hour and um, I'll let you know how long they actually took. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Hi, we're back. I went ahead and drained in the sink the um, medium and small beets, and then I ran a little cold water on top of those to cool them off. And now we're ready just to peel them. So I just take the uh, end and I'll take that with my knife and just take that off. And then we can go ahead and peel with our knife, just scrape off the, uh, the skin of the beet. These cook for about 45 minutes, and my large beets have been in there for over an hour. So you want to be able to put your knife right through them, or a fork or whatever, straight through, so that they're a little soft. They're easy to get through. So, and then you'll know they're ready. So once you have them peeled, we're just going to put them off to the side. We'll peel them all. And then we'll uh, come back and I'll show you what the next step is. And we're back. We have all our beets peeled. We have a few sweet onions peeled as well. Um, they do call for Vidalia, but if you can just get sweet onions as well. So now it's time to make our um, juice for the pickled beets. So we'll start with eight cups. So it's one, one, and one, one cup of water to one cup of apple cider vinegar and one cup of sugar. You can bring the sugar down to three quarter cups if you'd like, but it's probably best just to stick with one, 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 and one. So that's eight cups of water, eight cups of sugar, and measure this. And this is just regular apple cider vinegar. Once that heat is heated, we can go ahead and start canning. In the back here, I have some, um, my regular, I haven't turned it on yet. So the regular mouth lids, I have seven of them because that's what the canner takes. They're washed and ready. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove on in the back there to warm those up. And then I'll also warm up this um, apple cider water sugar mixture. Once that's boiling, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, our pickling juice is just about ready. Yeah, I just imagine another minute or two and our canner is boiling nicely. So I turned that down just a little bit until we're ready to put our jars in. So I wanted to show you what our next step is. We're going to go ahead and slice those onions. Just take a nice, maybe quarter inch. We're gonna put a nice ring at the bottom of each jar. 
So we'll really just need seven to start, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the three onions that I have peeled. So just go ahead and put those to the side. So our onions are all ready. And you take a peek at our rind. Our pickle and juice. Yep, it's boiling now. So I was going to go ahead and show you. We'll start with the small beets. Maybe like this. So that way you can see what I'm going to do. Move this out of the way. So we're just going to go ahead and slice our beets. So that way they will go right into our jars. And we could have really prepared some of these beets ahead of time um, before the juice was boiling, but I wanted to wait and show you how it all work, comes together nicely. Should be enough for our jar. Okay, so we're going to take our jars right out of the dishwasher. They've been clean. We're making sure all the tops are uh, nice and smooth. Grab myself a paper towel and wet that. And now turn our front stove off, which is our pickling juice that's boiling nice. Grab my funnel. So we're just going to put a slice of onion at the bottom. Or you might have to. You can do a couple slices if you'd like. And then we're just going to fill our jar all the way up. Just lay it in there. And it's okay if they break. These are delicious. Um, all, all winter long, really. Nice for a picnic or just as a side for dinner or with your salad if you want to add a little pick um, beets to the side of the salad. And uh, we're going up to the headroom there. We're going to leave about a half inch headroom, quarter inch head, half inch. So we could put a little bit more in there if we wanted to. I usually pack them pretty tight. Okay. Rinse my fingers off again. Put that here. And now this is hot. We're going to bring this over so that way you can see what's going on. And that's apple cider vinegar, our sugar, and our water mixture. Nice and hot. Grab a ladle. Just going to go ahead and pour that right in. And we want to leave that headroom up to the bottom of the rim of the jar is what I usually go. Okay. And now if you don't have this little tool, you can use a spatula. And we're going to grab, get all that air out, go around the whole jar. Try to move those beets around a little bit just to help them make sure we get all of the air out. Press them down a little. If we have any air left, sometimes the, um, the air can actually break your jar. So I'm just going to press, press the beet down a little bit because it looks like it's trying to come up on me. I'm going to try to cover it. Cover all your beets with the juice. Just go up a little bit more. Okay, so we see how full it is. I don't see any air. Then we take our wet paper towel and we just wipe around the rim of the top of the jar. And then we're going to grab our hot lids in the back. I'm going to go ahead and turn that stove off. And I have a little magnet here. I'm going to grab one lid out. Pop that right on top in the ring. The rings can be used year after year as long um, as well as the jars. 
but the lids have to be brand new. Now, you're just going to hand tighten, but you don't want to go so hard that no air can go through. You want to be able to let that um, air go through so it's sealed. So I'm just going to lift the jar, the lid off the canner. Um, I think I'm going to drop it in. I have a little tool for this as well. Drop it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down the sides. So I will go ahead and continue filling my jars until the canner is full. And then once we get the water to reboil, um, we won't put it on too high, but maybe up to eight. And once that water starts to reboil, we'll cook those jars for 30 minutes. And then we'll be back. I'll show you what it looks like. Hi, and we're back, and it's time to take our jars out of the canner. They've been gently boiling for 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this stove off and be careful with the, the lid. I'm going to use my tool. jars broke today. That's a good day. So we'll let those rest for 24 hours. So we'll make sure that they seal. If they don't seal, you can go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and eat them that way um, from the refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed this segment of canning and freezing. And if you did, you can like our page, follow us on Facebook, and also our YouTube channel. Thanks so much and take care.